Hello guys, I hope you all are doing well. Today I have come with an experiment on how to make how to make electrical power using a DC motor. So let's see what we need. For this experiment, you will need an old CD, eight bottle tops, a DC motor, a capacitor, and an LED. So now we are going to stick the bottle tops to the CD. I've already made marks for where I want them to be. Make sure they are facing in the same direction because uh, if it's not facing in the same direction, it won't work properly. So now I'm going to st stick this gear over here so I can connect the CD to the shaft of the motor so it can help and rotate it, it will rotate much more properly. Now I'm sticking the motor onto this piece of wood. Now we are sticking the CDs onto the motor. So now we are going to stick the capacitor to the wood. Now I am connecting the output of the motor to the capacitor. So we have connected it to the capacitor. The use of the capacitor is to stabilize the current that comes out of it. I am going to, I uh, am using a blower to make the CD spin. When the motor is spinning, let us check the voltage of it with a multimeter. Now let us connect the LED to the capacitor. So I am blowing it with the blower to see if it is working properly. So let me explain how it how it actually creates power. In this case, the DC motor works like a generator, and the motor mainly consists of two parts: stators and rotor. In this, these they are two permanent magnet, and they are of different pola polarities, and they create a magnetic flux. When the rotor rotates in the magnetic field, it creates an EMF. Basically, a generator is a device that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. In our case, the mechanical en energy was wind power. So that was it for today's video. If you like the video, subscribe and support. Thank you.